Hello there on YouTube. This is Earth Watching coming back from one more video. Um, I was skipping through the webcams here. Was, I go through quite a few, but I usually don't catch on anything other than the FFA uh, webcams by our government. But I was going through the Mexico webcams here, and I caught two light sources on multiple cams here in Mexico. I'm going to prove it to you. Watch this. Here's the sun. It's going down here above this mountain and you start scrolling through go slow sun is down there's no sun sun has set behind that now watch the glow rise from here how bright it gets here to the left of the sun but nothing to the right where it went down you can still see the red glow from where it's going down keep scrolling going through now check that out Look at how bright it's getting to the right side of the screen. And before you jump and say, oh, that's just because of the clouds, I got three other cameras that give you just definitive proof of this. Check this out. See how bright that's getting? Now look. Right here, that's where the light source is at. It's right here. It's reflecting up. Sun's down. Why is it not bright there? There's an actual light source right there. Keep looking. Check it out how bright that is gleaming here but the sun went down there I just showed you that I'll even go back one more time real quick we'll flick back see there's our sun and I checked and I'll do this real quick to show you 1828 it's about ready to go down you click it 1830 go here alright here you go sunset 632 Go back to our cameras. 630. So there's the sunset. Sun's down. Now we're in what we call twilight. But watch carefully. Look at this. How lit up this is right here. That's because we have something else creating a light source or reflecting light from the sun back. And it's extraordinary. Just keep watching. And this is what proves it. If it was the sun creating this, there's all these breaks in the clouds right here. The sun went down right where my cursor's at, up and down here. Why is none of this over here to the right side of this small hill or mountain formation over here lit up? None of it. Look here in comparison. All the way over here to the left side of the screen is lit up as bright as day. Now look up over here barely and then breaks in the clouds have nowhere near the glow is what's coming through these clouds and right here's your light source keep going you can see it set look it's right here you can see how bright the glow is right here in comparison to here and the sun went down right here and look right here where you can see that it's not glowing there that shows you there's a secondary source now we'll click here to the next camera and we'll go backwards again. I'll show it to you. There it is rising. There's your sun. It's right here in the far corner of the screen. There you are. Click through the camera views. Frame by frame you can see it moves about two minute intervals. There's our light source then coming this way to set. It's going to set right about in here. Watch this. There you go folks look how lit up it is right here but not over here and still I have two more that are even more definitive I've went basically from the worst to the best not the best to the worst on this video and you keep scrolling down and you can see it's setting next cam here we go because now you can see everybody's going oh you can only see it about the right side of the screen and I know that's what you were all thinking Everything on the right side of the sun wasn't existent. There was nothing there, and you couldn't see. Hey, you know, he's just showing you what he wants you to see. Now, I'm going to show you this open screen. There's the sun basically in the middle of the frame, jumping right out at you. No denying it, it's setting right here, dead even with this point. So, watch carefully. Click through, sun vanishes. Poof see it now look right here 
keep going. There you go. Look at how bright it's getting here. But the sunset, you did even at this point. This is where the peak of the brightness should be coming from. Is right here. Where my cursor's at. That's where you should have your focal point of the brightness coming up over the horizon. But you don't. You have it approximately right in here. And it's getting brighter because that's where the sun went down. And nothing is lighting up to that side of that. If you keep scrolling through. Look at that. That should be giving you just about any proof that you want that there is two light sources or another body reflecting the sun's light back at the planet. Keep going. There you go. Look at how bright it is still over here, but not over there. Now slowly click back so you can see it again. You watch it rise. See, look at the light sources coming from somewhere right over here in this direction. Hence the chemtrailing and the heavy clouds I'm trying to keep you from seeing it. Look at how bright it's lighting up over here. But look at all the breaks in the cloud over here. The sun's in the middle, so if the sun is producing that light, the light should be just as bright from the left and on the right coming through these clouds. But look at this. You're not getting anywhere near the same reflection off to the right of the sun as you are the left. It's just, there's nothing. And as you can see, it's here. This is where the light source is being projected from is more to the left of the screen and we'll go backwards just so you can see it again for yourself there's your sun and you can see the light source do this like a loop doesn't and this side of the screen stays dim here we go and we got one more that's even better than this coming up sorry about that bump that cursor but keep watching see it it's set into the left of the screen. One more. Here you go. There's your light source. We'll scroll forward. So you can see where the sun's going down. Oh, sorry. Scrolling the wrong way. There's your sun. You can't really see it because of how many comes up. You can definitely see the reflection on the water. You know when it goes down. Watch the camera, right up there, 1834, which is 634, sunset. Sun has went down. Now watch, the light source come around. There you are. Check that out. There you go. Look at the left side of the screen in comparison to the right side of the screen. Look at how bright this is. Like we have a second sun, or like I said, an object that the sun's beat, hitting the light and it's reflecting back. And I believe it has gotten close enough that they're, they're hiding it or keeping us from seeing it is not becoming an option anymore. That's why you're seeing so much disclosure and things on the internet, on news stations, on everything that they're opening up a little bit. They're getting us prepared because they're going to have to tell us soon. And soon, maybe even like in the next couple years but they have to lead us into it look at this look at the right there your light source you can even see it on the water it's right here sun went down over there so to all you believers out there I hope this is just a little bit more proof of that there is something heavenly floating around our planet and it's a huge body is right there once again that's where the sun set and you watch it you see right there extraordinary bottom brightness to the left side of the Sun next to nothing to the right side of the Sun as you watch the red glow is so much more vivid to the left than it is to the right which is telling you there is something over here you all have a good night, and this is something for you just to uh, ponder on. And if you got anything that you can tell me that it's some sort of reflection off the atmosphere, crystallization, if you can show me proof of why it's reflecting all the white light to the left and not to the right, just let me know, and I'd be happy to hear it. But for right now, God bless, and everyone, you have a good night.